welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center, along with Elliot, Shavane, Thomas, and I'm Lucas Suppresso. Fresh off winning their 18th NBA championship in franchise history, the Boston Celtics are early favorites to repeat next year's, uh, according to Bet MGM. Final runner up, the Mavericks, opened third in the 2025 title odds. Wedge between the Celtics and the Mavs is the 2023 NBA champion, the Denver Nuggets. Next year's NBA long shots include the Trail Blazers, Wizards, Pistons, Hornets, and Nets. NFL training camps are fast approaching, and one NFL team has its hands full with a star wide receiver. 49ers All-Pro Brandon Ayuk has officially requested a trade after an offseason of unsuccessful attempts to reach a contract extension. Earlier this summer, Ayuk posted a video on TikTok of himself telling Arizona State teammate current Washington Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels that the 49ers don't want him back. Ayuk led the team in catches and yards last season. Former LSU National Championship coach Les Miles has filed a lawsuit against the school, the NCAA and National Football Foundation. Miles alleged an LSU improperly vacated 37 wins from his tenure, rendering him ineligible for the College Football Hall of Fame. Over his 18 seasons at Oklahoma State, LSU, and Kansas, Miles amassed a winning percentage just below 60%, which is required for Hall of Fame consideration. The PGA Tours created a special sponsor exemption for 15-time major champion Tiger Woods. Based on his exceptional lifetime achievement, the sponsor exemption allows Woods, an 82-time winner on the PGA Tour, to participate in eight signature events that he would not likely qualify for because he isn't playing enough competitive golf. The combined purse of the eight events is $20 million. Woods suffered serious injuries in a car accident in February 2021 and has been forced to limit his schedule. The Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, might have a new home. Kansas lawmakers approved a plan for luring the Chiefs and the Royals away from Missouri after authorizing state bonds to help finance new stadiums and practice facilities for both teams on the Kansas side of the metropolitan area. The Chiefs would likely spend $500 to $700 million in private funds on the new stadium. The Chiefs have won three Super Bowls since 2020. That's it for a busy day in sports for my co-anchors, Luca, Elliot, and Thomas. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.